All right, so here's how I set up my board every day. I always talk in my videos about how important consistency is, how the same thing has to happen every day in your class. If the students come in, they know what to expect. And so although lessons don't have to look the same, procedures and routines should be similar so the kids don't have to wonder what's going on. All right, all right, all right. A question that started bothering me some years ago was when kids would say, what are we gonna do today? It's like, just wait five seconds, I'm about to tell everyone, but instead, I just start putting it on my board. So every day when my students come in, there is the date on the board, so no one ever has to ask me what the date is, which doesn't mean they won't ask you what the date is. They will still ask you, and then you will say, child, I've been writing down the board for the last 10 months in the same exact spot. Perhaps you could pick up on this. So that's in the first spot. And then every day underneath, I have my pre-class written. In the pre-class, I tell the kids is pre-class, like before you actually are in class. I don't care if you're talking while you're doing this. I don't care if you're not in your correct seat while you're doing this, but you need to be like getting that stuff ready right that, that while in between you're time that kids There's have no in time classes. for talking should be during there, the day, like, except for lunch. You know, teachers are told to teach from bell to bell. So it gives little free time for the kids to actually build relationships and talk with one another. So don't mind if you're talking during that time, but just make sure you're doing what I'm asking as well. Then underneath of that is always what we're doing that day. I start almost every single class with a journal, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video, but the journal entry is written on the board. It's always in quotes what I need you to write down. Those quotes have to be written at the top of your journal entry every single time. And this is typically a way for me to connect what's happening or has happened in a child's actual life to something in the story. So I might ask about a movie or a TV show. I might ask about a time in your own life. So today was tell about a time that you narrowly escaped danger. I wanna know a time that you narrowly escaped danger. And then you have to write me at least five sentences on that. And that says on the board too, all of my expectations are clear. Like this is what you're doing before class. This is what you're doing when we get started. And this is how long it needs to be. Cause that's gonna be a question you get all the time. Does that have to be in sentence form? Can I write it in bullets? How many sentences does it have to be? All there for you. And then I don't go into great deal, but at the bottom of the board, I have things like, we're gonna go over your homework or we're gonna read today, or there's a project coming up, or I'm gonna introduce a new topic or whatever it is, just so kids can sort of prepare themselves that day. Especially if you have children that are anxious or kids that really need a sense of, of consistency in class, you're providing that by like easing them and saying like, yes, this is what we're doing today. And if we are working in small groups and I know you're awkward about that, maybe you'll talk to me about it before class or we can have a word about it so you can feel calmer. I want my room to be a safe place. I want my kids to know what they're walking into every day. And I think that writing on the board every day is a way to do that. Now, a couple more notes about that. One, I write in the same place. Two, I have an utterly clean, I mean, my board, my whiteboard is flawless every day. I usually wash it myself. Sometimes I give it as a job to other students, but they gotta know exactly how Reynolds washes his board, which means that you're even wiping off that marker ledge at the bottom where it gets all that crusty like marker diarrhea or whatever on it. All right, I got interrupted, which is the way when you're a teacher, nothing can just get done. You always get interrupted. Just have to kind of accept it and move on. So I like my board being clean, the same reason I like my room being clean, because I think that it is, there's not a lot of stimuli on my board. It is simply what we're doing today is over here. Real Rap with Reynolds is up here, which is a quote that I have, which is where the name of my channel came from, that I come up with or that I think is interesting every day. The students can write it down, they don't have to, but they get extra credit if they do. And the homework board, and the homework board looks like this. I do not give a lot of homework for a number of reasons that I won't go into right now, but the homework that I do have or things that I need kids to do like make up tests or bring in a permission slip, I'll go in the small board and it's right next to my door. I separate it either by period or by grade level. Ninth grade goes on the top, 10th grade goes on the bottom, and then neatly bullet pointed are all of the things that I need. Here's the one problem with my homework board. It is too low. Anything that a child can wear a backpack and bump into a child will bump into. It's a good idea to make them higher, but the way that my room is set up, I just couldn't do that. And homework is always on the board when the kids come into class. It's never me trying to write it down as they're leaving because I'll forget or I get sidetracked or I don't have everyone's attention. So a lot of the time, they have to come in and they know to write their homework down as soon as they get into the classroom. A last few tips on what my board looks like in the beginning of class. I also write very neatly and I write neat in general, but even if you have messy handwriting, I think it's just important for the students to be able to see. So make sure you're writing 
writing large enough, which is something that I struggle with. Make sure you're writing clear enough. Make sure that if you make your E's or your G's a funky way, your kids know what that letter means. This is often something I'll write at the end of the previous day. So if I am doing something tomorrow, I'll stop at the end of the day, clean my board and write it all on there. So that's not something I have to do in the morning, you know, cause sometimes things come up, a parent shows up, there's a conference or a meeting that you didn't foresee coming, writing that stuff down early helps you so that you don't have to like ever be in a pinch and not be able to get it done. All right, so two asks. One, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you know someone that could use it. And two, what are some of your kind of like pre-class rituals? Like what does your whiteboard look like? Or how do you do something of the same version, but in your world? And that's it. So what you're doing is you're creating a resource in the comment section below so that folks that are just starting out have somewhere to look and have something to look at. And this becomes a community of educators that are all helping one another. Thanks guys, peace.